Here's the deal. The great people at TMZ posted the following article on October 2nd of 2017 titled Kenya Moore barred from Real Housewives of Atlanta cash trip. Here's what they wrote. Kenya Moore's husband is still MIA for the filming of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and it's cost her a lot of moolah, a trip to Spain and maybe her gig itself. <gasps> Real Housewives of Atlanta production sources tell us the cast is on its annual trip for the show, this time in Barcelona. Except for Kenya, we're told she was invited initially and in the lead up to the trip, even participated in scenes where the cast was talking about it. But then producers yanked her invite. Why? Our sources say Bravo told Kenya she needed to film scenes leading up to the trip with hubby Mark Daly. But he wasn't down. Producers felt she was just making more excuses for Mark's lack of participation. So the invite got yanked. Housewives get paid per episode, and now Kenya will miss out on some big checks. As we reported, producers gave Kenya an ultimatum. Get your hubby on Real Housewives of Atlanta or get phased out. It seems the latter is happening. So here's the deal. What do you guys think about your girl, Kenya Moore, and them saying that this may be her last season of Real Housewives of Atlanta and about her getting her invite yanked from the trip? I mean, I think it's a damn shame. She's a huge part of the show, about as big as her booty, and that's really big. And she's fine as hell. I mean, she's a dime, supermodel, fucking awesome actress. I mean, she's she's just too beautiful to be going through this shit. It's like, do they not know that one of the reasons why that show is one of the biggest shows on television is because of Kenya Moore? Some would say she's the main reason. I mean, me personally, uh, I'm partial to Portia. I think Portia makes... I, I think that the only reason why television hasn't been uh, killed off by the internet yet is because because of Portia and her goddessly presence. But anyways, I'm a fan of Kenya's too. <laughs> but, you know, and I, I know that she definitely is a huge, huge, huge part of the show. And if it wasn't for Kenya, the show would not work. <laughs> it, it would no, nowhere to listen. Let's just be real here with ourselves, man. No shade to the other ladies in the show. Shout out to everybody. Y'all lovely ladies and everything. Beautiful women. Love y'all. Okay. Okay, before I say this, the main attractions to the Real Housewives of Atlanta are Nene Leakes, Kenya Moore, and the most magnificent human being that ever walked the face of this earth, which is Portia. And that's the reason why people watch the show, because of Nene, Kenya, and every man that tunes in, tunes because tunes in because Portia is, is there. She's like the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. The point is this, though. See, I can I can mention Portia's name in any. I don't give a fuck. I can talk. I can be talking about nu nuclear physics, and I can mention Portia's name. I can fit her name up in there. All right. Um. Anyways, the point is this. <clears throat> so. The point is this. Oh, I was thinking about Portia. So I lost my mind. I was like, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kenya is a huge part of the show, and if it wasn't for her, the show wouldn't be as big as it is right now. I mean, the show would be big, but not as, not what it is. You know, people stay tuning in, uh, a lot of people, because of Kenya Moore. Because they want to see what she's going to do, what she's going to say next. They want to see how good she's looking. They want to see what she's wearing. All of it. They want all of it, you know, just her beauty, her her wit, the funny things that she says, you know, her outlook on life, her interesting storylines, all of it. Kenya is all that. So that's y'all lost i'm trying to tell y'all if, if she's off the show that's y'all i'll know what y'all i know what y'all gonna do i don't know what y'all gonna do you know she has her own company she can just make her own show do, do, do you really do you really want kenya to be your competition i i, I didn't think so i didn't think so y'all y'all need to cut that check i'm just saying but anyways this is all my opinion what do i know just a kenya more fan with the microphone let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. For the record, Bravo. I love y'all. You're one of my favorite networks. You're definitely up there. My top five, if not maybe even my top three. But let me tell y'all, awesome people at Bravo, something, okay? First of all, hoops show it takes a sister. No, that was a different network. I'm sorry. Get my networks mixed up. What's another show I love that was on Bravo? Whoops, I fucked up. Um, uh, Blood, Sweat, and Heels. Y'all need to bring back that back to TV. The fact that Blood, Sweat, and Heels is not still on TV is a huge problem. I don't know what y'all were thinking. That show was so good.
That was like the one of the best reality TV shows. Second of all, the fact that Portia doesn't have her own show. Actually, Portia should own Bravo. That's a whole other story. But the fact that Portia doesn't have her own show yet. That's another problem. Number three. Are y'all trying to cause rifts in Kenya's new marriage? Is that what you're trying to do? And I wasn't going to say it, but I feel compelled to say this before I turn this fucking microphone off. This lady just got married. She's not trying to have problems with her husband. If her husband doesn't want to be in the show, it must be for a reason. Reality TV is not for everybody. The fact that they don't want their relationship displayed for the world and they want to keep it private for themselves. Instead of Bravo saying, well, this is messing up our show. It's not making good TV unless, I mean, <laughs> you know, he has to come on the show to complete your storyline because, of course, I mean, he's your husband. He's a huge part of your life. He, he <laughs> in a sense, he is your life, you know. You're devoting part of your life to him. I can understand that everything, Bravo, but reality TV, some would say, has ruined a lot of relationships. I mean, we've seen people get divorced and break up and whatnot like nothing, even on the Real Housewives, you know? So this is not something that people need to be playing around with. This is a, a sacred union. And if Kenya and her husband decided that their relationship is not going to end up like other people's, they're not going to be made fools of. And, you know, in a beautiful union, then I think that Bravo should just respect that and say, you know what? As much as we don't want to do this, you know, we'll just leave him out of the show. I think that they should respect their wishes personally. But this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm biased because I love me some Kenya. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Do you think they should just leave him off the show and just let her be on the show and, and do her own thing? Let me know below. Meat Magazine.